Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy, Amy. We got some official Toy Story 5 news that I have to cover for you guys today. Before I get into the news, make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on notifications so you will not miss a single future upload. So the first piece of news we got right here is that it's been confirmed by Disney and Pixar themselves that Andrew Stanton's gonna be the one directing Toy Story 5. Now this is really great news. In fact, I think he's gonna be a much better director than Josh Cooley was for Toy Story 4. In fact, I think that's why it was bad because he put it in like a terrible direction. Now if you guys aren't aware who Andrew Stanton is, he directed Wally -E and he helped write all the Toy Story movies. He's been a big influence on Pixar. Hey guys, Editing AV here. I also wanted to add for credit that Andrew Stanton also directed Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. Now that's the one piece of good news we got for Toy Story 5 that has been officially confirmed at the D23 Expo. However, the rest of the news, including the plot details and the villain reveal, is very disappointing in my opinion. So picture this for the concept here, the confirmed plot details for Toy Story 5. Bonnie is not only just abandoning Woody in Toy Story 4, in Toy Story 5 she's probably gonna be abandoning all her toys for an iPad. She's gonna be an iPad kid and the plot's basically toys against technology. Now they have actually Actually touched a little base on that in Toy Story that time forgot whenever that character Mason got Bonnie to play that new video game and the toys were kind of left I guess unsupervised on play with or whatever they touched base on that just a little bit but now it's gonna be a big main focus for the plot as if I'm not already annoyed with Bonnie as a character just because of Toy Story 4 alone I just cannot wait to see how much more she can piss me off honestly in my opinion I think Bonnie is my least favorite Toy Story character of all time she was great in Toy Story 3 but then Toy Story 4 and from what we see on Toy Story 5, she's gonna be an absolute shitty character. So the concept art here shows Bonnie on her bed under her covers late at night playing on her iPad while her toys are at the foot of her bed watching with sad looks on their face that she basically abandoned them all for an iPad. I guess abandoning Woody wasn't enough. Let's abandon all your toys. Be a complete terrible shitty character. Fuck you, Bonnie. Now I've been looking through the comments on Pixar's post for the concept art of Toy Story 5. A lot of people are saying there's a plot hole because Woody's already there with Buzz when he should be at the carnival. What? I, I mean, I don't think they're retconning it here because I would just be completely stupid. And my little theory here is that Woody and Bo Peep are visiting Buzz and the gang and he wanted to see Bonnie again and they're dealing with this crap now. Her being an iPad kid watching Brain Rot. And I swear, if there is a moment in that movie where Bonnie is watching a video on Skibbity Toilet, I am going to be mad. Now the last bit of details I have on the Toy Story 5 plot is that the villain is going to be an army of 50 malfunctioning Buzz Lightyears in Toy Man. I guess they're kind of recycling the idea from Toy Story 2 about all the rogue buzzes, you know, with the utility belt, but they're kind of taking it up a notch with an army of 50 of them. Now my complaint with this is that it seems a little redundant and nothing original, but I don't know, I'm still gonna watch the movie because I'm a Toy Story fan and I'm gonna be fair and maybe it'll, there's gonna be a slight chance this movie will be good. I'm at least hoping that this is gonna be better than Toy Story 4 at least, but it doesn't sound like that. To me, it sounds like it's probably gonna be worse. And honestly, I was under the impression because of some rumors going around on the internet about the plot of Toy Story 5, and I think something that Tim Allen said, I'm not too sure, but they were talking about Andy coming back and the plot revolving around his family. That sounds like a much better plot for Toy Story 5, but no, they went with this. They went with Rain Rot iPad Bonnie. Thank you, Pixar. Honestly, the plot of Toy Story 5 overall just sounds like shit. And I hate to say that, because I love Toy Story, and I always try to be optimistic on films like that, but this sounds awful. But I'm still gonna watch it, because I'm gonna give it a fair try, and I'm a fair person. And I'll make sure I give you guys a movie review on it whenever it comes out. So yep, let's just cross our fingers that Toy Story 5 will surprise us and be really good. Better than Toy Story 4. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so you don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, A.B. Out. Peace out, Rainbow Trout.